Hey everybody, welcome back to part two on how to make platform shoes for cosplay right here on the Evil Ted channel. Now we got this done, it's secure, it's on here. We're going to dress this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover this with foam and I picked out some uh, floor mat foam. Now, let's wrap foam around this bad boy. Now that I have my boot, the distance, I'm going to measure this in the wood. And I'm looking at, that's a metric, let's go inches. That's about five and a half for the width. But when doing something like a circumference and you want to know how much foam is going to wrap around here, this is where I go out and I get my fabric, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> try it again, fabric tape measure. You can get this at these uh, fabric stores and these are great to have because you'll be able to wrap around. So I'm going to do, I'm going to back my trusty Sharpie. Let's do the center line right here on the back. Like so. Do dead center. Okay. Like that. Right, my favorite tech. What do you do? If this is curved, so I'm going to start right here, as you can see, and I'm going to lay it down. What I want to do is you got to compensate for these curves too. So you got to make sure you keep your finger on it when you're doing this. Okay? So you go around, keep it on here, hold it as you go. Keep holding right here. Okay. Flip it over, keep holding to the other side. Like so. Still holding. You gotta follow your curve. All the way through. Oop, keep that taunt, keep going, keep going. To the very back. We can see your line again. And it falls like remember what you wanna do? Just to compensate, I'm gonna say let's go because uh, but the, this is the exact measurement we have here. Sorry. The exact measurement right here on the line. But I wanna go a little bit over. With foam at different thicknesses, it ends at a different spot. So I don't want a little bit, I'll go a little large. So let's make it 25 and a half. So I'm gonna cut my foam at 20 and that'll give me a little bit of, um, that's literally an inch of plain room of foam. So when we get the back, if it runs too long, I can cut it. But when it runs too short, it's always a pain. It's always good to have it run a little long. So I just cut a little bit longer than that. All right, I have my foam cut. As you can see, I went out and got the uh, the diamond plate foam. This is really popular. I got this at uh, Pet Boys. This comes in a big roll. It's a floor mat fatigue foam. And sometimes you'll have people I use the smooth side. But for this particular costume, I like the diamond plate, so I'm going to do this on the outside. And also, before I glue this arm, these are going to be shoes. And I realized the bottom edge might make some contact. So I put a slight bevel when I cut the uh, foam out. I took my knife and did a slight 45 on the bottom of this. Very slight. I'll probably, it looks like I probably could do some more. But now we got this arm. Got it all lined up. So, let me get my trusty barge cement. People always keep asking me, what glue am I using? Barge cement. This is actually a barge thinner canister, a canister, but this particular logo, this is barge cement. This is the thinner I use, the thin the barge with, but that's what I use for contact, barge cement. So, let's go ahead and start prepping this right now with glue. And since I'm gonna do top and bottom, I'm gonna do both sides right here. I got my pieces, I got barge, you can see the right there, barge in that. I got barge both this side, I barge all the way to this edge. Back seam right here. So we're ready to go. So what I do, my bottom edge. I'm gonna line that guy right up like this. There it is, get that going. And the thing is too, is when you're doing this, as you see, I'm gonna keep this on the table and use the table as my level to make sure that when I'm doing this, this all stays on nice and square. Okay, like this, come around. Push on the curve. Okay. There we 
go. See, it's coming together. Right. Curve right in there, line up, push in. Okay. Now, as you can see, I have quite a bit. Light. Actually, not bad. I have about a. Uh, looks like, as you can see, got a little bit left over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this up. So what I do is I usually take a. I can kind of see where it's going to end. About right, I say, about right about, I'm going to cut off. Right there, okay. Since I have that, trim my excess off here. Okay, now I have my little, my spot marked on my boot. You can see right here, I'm going to lay, <laughs> I made it error. So what I like to do is I want to cut it nice and square, so I'm going to lay this on the edge of the table. As you can see, I'm going to pull a little flap over here, right here. Take my trusty straight edge and line up what I see in exactly what I need to cut off, right there. So get a nice square, there we go. Okay, now. Got that cut. What I'm going to do is put some barge on there right now. Let's put that closed. There it is. Got my boot with my foam wrapped all the way around it nicely, tight. And what I'm going to do next is I want to uh, I want to do a foam piece. Uh, it's going to come up here and around and come up over the toe, like so. So we're going to do aluminum foil duct tape. We'll make our pattern off of that. All right. As you can see, I got my foil on here. Covered my duct tape. What I'm going to do. And my trusty Sharpie. This is going to be my bottom edge. I know this is going to end, so I draw this. Get my line. Get that all figured out. Now, I'm looking at this. I know my laces. I definitely want to be able to clear those laces. So I'm not going to have it come that too far. As a matter of fact, we'll start right there. I'll have that end. Have my foam piece in here. Like so. All right. So have it come down. And come right back here. Okay. I'm going to do here, since it's going to be my seam line back here, let's make that the cut line. Okay. There we go. Okay. Got it, here we go. Oh, my pattern's off. Trim the excess with my scissors. Right, here's my pattern. I have my cut line going right down the center here, you can see on the toe. And I do my cut right in the middle and I do my little hash marks. Get my scissors, like so. There you go. 
is to notice there's a bit of a pucker in here. And I could dart it, but I'm going to do is I'm going to push this flat, and then when I go to do my foam pieces, I'll heat them up. So let's go ahead and lay this flat like so. Same here. All right, let me cut my darts in here like so. What you guys see here, this is then poster board, and then my patterns. And I'm going to transfer my patterns to poster board. The reason I'm doing this is because I keep them. I used to do, I won't lie, I used to do the paper, but I have graduated to poster board. I think it's, it's a far better way to do this. But what I'm going to do with these guys right now, I'm going to trace my patterns. The reason I do this on poster board, because there's going to be little deviations and imperfections in this. And I can clean them up when I cut it out of a uh, poster board. So right now, get this all traced first. All right, there you go. Now I have my patterns cut out, a poster board. I have my diamond plate foam. And I just I was debating about doing the front and the back, but since it's diamond plate, I'm going to go ahead and just keep the theme going. So on this edge, we use the diamond plate on this as well. Let's go ahead and pin this. Here we go. Okay, now that I have my patterns traced under the foam, to do the other shoe, all you have to do is flip it over. So this is right now, I made a right and left of the patterns because they're very similar to it. But this is just one foot right here, so we have to do the other foot. But it has to be a reverse, so for the next one we flip it. So make sure when you do the other foot, you've got to flip your patterns. Okay, kind of hard to see these lines on the, uh, the pattern, but I was going to tell you, when you guys using your uh, your knife when cutting, have a tendency people want to turn their blade this way. That always keep your blade straight and don't cover the tip. Cover the edge. Go really long. So with that being said, but always keep track of that when you're cutting. So I like to cut straight up and down. There we go. I have all my parts cut out. There we go, ready to go. And like I said, this pucker right here, I want to kind of heat this up and put a little bit of a curl into it. Not big, because it'll work, so it's super thin. So I got these guys, so go ahead, get my trusty uh, heat gun. Kind of just put a little pucker into it. I'm just going to pull it and stretch it, like so. Mm. There. See? Now I have my uh, little pre-made curve right there. So I'm going to do that uh, three more times. All right, as you can see, I got them all curved. I'm ready to go. Like so, and now we'll start gluing these guys together. I'm going to start with the, uh, the toe tip first. We'll do this guy together first. All right. I've got them all lined up. Here we go. Start with the top right here. I got my hash marks. There you go. See, it's my first cup. Do the other shoe. Wind up.
Now we get this done. Let's grab a boot. See how this guy fits on. Look at that. Perfect. I'm going to do it all lined up. So now, make sure it's wrapped around the back. Mm -hmm. Oops, look at that. See? So one thing I didn't plan on when I was doing this is that with doing this foam and doing my pattern, I end up a little short. And I forgot at the end point, the thickness of the foam on my pattern I should have at least a half an inch. I should have a little bit extra. Like I did when I measured for this. When I covered this, I made it a little longer. I did not do this on the heel. So now I've got to add a little strip of foam to compensate for the difference on that. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Now that I have my top done, as you can see right here, we're going to put this in the boot. And you line everything up. And uh, what I've done, just to speed things up in the magic wonderful world of video, as you can see, I got the shoe right here. And uh, I pinned everything on to make sure everything fits. I went around the edge and I just pinned it. You can see where everything's going to line up in the back. Get it all pinned down and then, kind of like our patterns, I take a sharpie and I make registration marks so that when I'm gluing this thing it lines up exactly where I want it to go. So, this helps me when I'm gluing things down where I want it to go. I got it all nicely lined up. Now what I'm going to do now is remove the pins and get the barge cement and let's apply it. I got my barge cement on my edges in here and now I'm going to start lining up. So when I do this, I make sure I bend them outwards so I don't get them glued to themselves. So I line up my registration mark like so. Right there, okay. Okay, I'm sticking it down. Okay, this edge right here. And right there. Okay. Now I stick down the other side. Latin registration marks, very good. You can see, oh, line up a little bit right there. Pushing up like that. Line this one up like so. I'm on the back edge. Here's the tricky part. These guys a touch. A little tight fit, but here we go. I can tell right now, see, it's not sticking very well because I just need a little more barge on that, so. A little barge cement on that. Take a scrap piece of foam, kind of smooth it out a little bit. You don't want to go too heavy. There you go. All right, now we've got the glue. Go to the hair dryer. Pinch it shut. There we go, see? It closes much better now. There it is, nice. Got it all closed up. And here they are. Ta-da! I know what you're thinking. Wow, Ted, you sure did skip some steps <laughs> in this tutorial. Uh, what I did was, I ended up having to uh, really get these done quickly. I take them to work. So I can tell you exactly what I did was. I took the boots and I sprayed them with black balloon rubber latex with my critter gun, which you can see on how to make a foam helmet and how to make female cosplay armor as well. On both those videos, they talk about coating things with rubber. And I did it with these guys right here. And as for the skull, no, this is not foam fabricated. This was sculpted in clay and I made a stone mold so I could do a slip cast rubber pull out of it and mold. And this was made for a costume I made years ago and I have a stockpile of molds I was able to pull from, uh, pull from to make this. 
but I, I knew it worked perfectly and it gives a great menacing look. And I also painted black and went back in with the dry brush in silver. But I usually, how you do dry brush for me is I take a coil and silver, spread it into a piece of cardboard, stick the uh, chip brush into it and just dry brush over it. And that gives you the metallic look. But uh, once again, I apologize for skipping those steps, but I had to get it done very quickly because there's a bit that was coming up called Wasteland the Weekend. I know what you're probably saying. What is that, Ted? Check out the link below. It tells you all about it. It's super cool. And uh, But that concludes how to make platform shoes for cosplay. You guys can follow me at Twitter at EvilTed40. And also you can find me on Facebook, EvilTedSmith.com. Guys, thank you so much for, being, <laughs> for your patience and hanging in there with me. More videos are coming. But hang in there. And see you guys next time on the Evil Ted channel.